Well, hello everyone. This is Crystal with Crystal and Astrology coming to you from Southern California. And I'm super excited tonight to get to come on. I have something super special I want to share with you. Really just talking about this Saturn-Jupiter conjunction in Aquarius right now. Now, I know you guys have heard probably so many things about it. You've heard about how it goes back to the days of Jesus when they were looking at the Star of Bethlehem following the star there's astrological connections going all the way back to then there's astrological connections going back to every 20 years saturn and jupiter conjunct in different signs and so a lot of times we'll see very significant things especially politically we see it very you know strongly there um, every 20 years and then we have all kinds of other things going on this is the first time in 200 years we're moving into air energy for the next 200 years we are also and many believe this is the actual trigger the kickoff the moment the zero degree moment that we're moving into the new age of Aquarius now I believe we've been on the cusp and I believe it's very possible that this is it I have no reason to believe that this is not the most significant time as we move in at zero degrees. For, for Saturn and Jupiter to be at zero degrees together is also extremely rare because even though they'll conjunct every 20 years, sometimes they're not so close. So, I mean, this is another really incredible moment. So the next two and a half years, Saturn will be in Aquarius. The next year, Jupiter will be in Aquarius. So everything right now is about a completely different life that we're getting ready to live. Talk about a new normal. And Aquarius is about detaching, strangely enough, from the human condition. I don't know about you guys, but I've been having a really hard time feeling de feeling attached to the things going on around me. I just keep kind of being out in another, you know, out in space, so to speak. You know, thinking about other things and... and uh, just really trying to, you know, reconnect back with what's going on. And so I'm going to go through all 12 signs. I'm going to go ahead and get started so we don't get too long into this introduction. I'm also going to be pulling a card for each sign. Um, this is my, hold on, if I can share with you guys, I want to get it right, my Gilded Tarot. And this is a very powerful, very powerful um cards and so these are just cards that I use just to connect with the energy and connect with the storylines that are going on around us we're all living in different storylines and yet we're all connecting in each other's storylines why do we connect and Aquarius is all about this strange connection this connection over the internet you know when you're connecting vibrationally or spiritually or psychically or even when you're angry with someone you're holding a grudge you're holding a vibrational feeling that you know can be passed back and forth and you know if you don't know how to know what to do with that it can be very disturbing for people and um, it takes a long time to really learn when you feel other people's energy coming through um, it takes a long time to sort that out and so we're going to start right now with Aries okay as we get going um, Aries right now um Aquarius is going to move into your 11th house and this is the sign of brotherly love kumbaya this is a sign finding your tribe more than ever finding those people you can count on finding those people that you're going to you know fight all for and this is that time where it's being about more serious also humanitarian efforts you might be doing something that's you know um you know, fighting a cause for men or children or something that, you know, you feel very, very strong about. With Mars and Aries, it could be, you know, definitely more masculine type energy around that cause. Okay, so let's pull a card for you. All righty. Here we have the Six of Pentacles. So this is your daily routine. This is making money. This is about being very focused. And if you notice, if you notice, excuse my mascara on my finger, um, if you notice, they're only showing one side of themselves. What's going on on the other side? Don't show all your cards yet. You're holding back. You've got other things behind the scenes you're working on. You're showing everybody that you're working on it, but you know, you're not ready to show it all. Okay, so Aries, just take your time on this. Take your time on developing and building what's valuable to you. Okay, all right, so Taurus. Aquarius, Saturn and Jupiter are going to move into your 10th house of career. Now, Taurus typically 
typically you tend to be a little bit more straight and narrow. A lot of times you can be the librarians. A lot of times you don't really get going off of real, you know, fanatical type things. You know, you're pretty steady Eddie. And so right now with Aquarius moving into your 10th house, this is going to make your career completely come out of the box. Now all of a sudden you're doing things you can't believe you're doing. Like maybe you're you know, you thought you were going one way and now you're doing readings or you are into astrology or you are connecting with your spiritualist psychic side. Um, you're going to be very drawn towards those ancient stories. So maybe you're doing a lot of storytelling. Maybe you're doing some writing. Okay, so this is your 10th house of career. Get ready for your career to take a complete radical change the next two and a half years. And again, this can be on the internet. So if you have something think about it. Okay. All right. Here we go. Another four pinnacles, another money. So there's money. Everybody's making, wanting to make some money right now. Everybody's it's like the gold rush. <laughs> How can money be made? Internet, internet, internet. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Okay. Gemini, Aquarius in the ninth house of travel, of higher education, of learning. So you may want to be learning with Aquarius there. That's the internet. So maybe you're taking all new online classes. Maybe you're looking into something you've never looked into before. Maybe even genealogy or ancestry or history or political or just something that you're really excited about. Maybe you're going to be teaching. Maybe you're going to be doing one-on-one -on -one type teachings. Maybe you're taking on a humanitarian effort, helping children that are less fortunate, tutoring, anything like that, coming up with programs. All of those things um, are beneficial and it's going to help a lot of people. Okay, so that's what we are looking towards. Need a little drink here. All right. Cancer. Aquarius is moving into, oh wait, did we get a card for you, Gemini? Gemini, Ten of Swords. Okay, so this is the time in your life, Gemini. Ten of Swords is like being done. Like you've passed all the tests. You, can, you can't be, really can't be hurt anymore. It's kind of that feeling of like, I have been through it all. So now it's time. Nothing worse can happen to me and ready to take it to a whole new level and be happy again, truly happy. This is a very positive energy coming your way because all of the energy is moving into the air signs. And with the air sign, Gemini being an air sign, you're going to be in your home element. So things should start feeling a lot better for you and a lot more comfortable. Okay. All right. Cancer, Aquarius in the eighth house. This could be unusual ways of making money, usual partnerships and contracts, the usual maybe intimate relationships coming in with somebody you can't believe that you're connected with, that you would have ever met. Maybe you're meeting someone that's an astrologer that's really into weird things and it's really exciting for you. Um, maybe you're meeting somebody on the internet, again, also getting involved with classes or, you know, maybe watching some spiritual things, eighth house, occult, learning. Um, again, making money behind the scenes and making money, having other people's money come your way. And that's a good thing. All right. And we have the Ten of Swords again. Now, you guys saw me shuffling, okay? So, also, um, Cancer. It's very important that you and Gemini are coming out of this time. This time where you've been through a lot. It's kind of like feeling like you've been stabbed in the back, you know? And it's just like, oh. But then you get to a point where you just can't be hurt anymore. And it's kind of like, you know what? I had to go through it. I finished. I passed the test. I come to a new place with it. Those things that triggered me before, those things that were my fears before just aren't anymore. They don't have that hold on me. And that's a beautiful thing. Ten of, ten of swords is coming to completion. Ten is completion. Okay. All right. Leo. Aquarius in your seventh house of relationships. This is again relationships. This again is you know, taking your ideas or somebody else's ideas and maybe doing something really grandiose with it, really great with it. Maybe meeting somebody, again, that's totally out of your comfort zone, but you can show off to everyone. They're so interesting. They're so unusual. Again, making money on the internet. With Leo here, this could be really stepping up and finding a little spot that's a little infamous or famous for you. You know, famous or, you know, successful, it's in the eye of the beholder. You know, like for me, I love that I have, you know, just a small following, 
and then a faithful people that get readings and inquire with me and I build that regularly then really going and being the big YouTube you know um, astrology person I just maybe if it was 20 years ago I would have loved that but I'm just that's just not my interest I don't need that in my life I'm just happy to be able to work support my family and balance what I love to do so I mean that makes me happy that's successful to me so there you go and everybody likes to put a few bucks in their pocket let's let's face that all right Leo here we go okay Leo three of swords okay we have a lot of swords right now and here we have the three of swords this is a broken heart you might be coming out of a broken heart you might have gotten yourself involved in just drama and in relationships and situations that you know what what did how did it come out in the end How did it work out for you? You know what I mean? Was it worth it? <laughs> so I think right now it's just being able to really, you know, just recognize what's happened, what's going on, and know that, I'm going to pull another little card for you, a little clarifier, what the future looks like as we move into this energy. Coming out of that broken heart. Oh my goodness, my dear. Moving into your queen position. I'm glad I pulled a second card. Queen of Pentacles. This is our Leo. Damn, girl. You're queen. You're going to be de pulling out some diva this year. And you want what you want. Okay? And it's, you know, it's money. It's value. Okay. Let's go on to Virgo, where it's the sixth house. house unusual changes in your daily routine. I'm a Virgo. And look what I'm doing. I'm doing something completely crazy in my daily routine right now. I'm doing an astrological analysis um, or report of the weather, just, just picking up on the energy, talking about just the spiritual things we're all learning and the things in life we're all learning. You know, we're all learning together. None of us have arrived and all of us are, you know, at any time can go any direction. You know, we're just working together on what's best as a human being, making better decisions. So we can be our best. Okay, Virgo. Got two cards that came out. And here we have the Seven of Pentacles. And here we have the Five of Wands. Just so happened two cards came out, Virgo. So you know what? There's a lot of drama around you right now. What is going on? And then it's like you're just standing there like with all your pentacles, like all your stuff, everything you've got going on. And just being like, damn, I'm cool. I know what I'm doing. I'm not, you know what, I've been up and down and all around, but I'm still standing and I've got all of my stuff with me I've been working on. And everybody around you, there's a lot of energy around you that's really, you know, they're just fighting. <laughs> it's just, so stand your ground, stand your ground, Virgo, and pay attention to that energy. Okay, Libra. Aquarius in your fifth house. That's a fun of children, of again, kind of your entertainment. Here's the time to get out. Here's the time to do more fun things. They can be really simple things, Libra, okay? They can be simple things, but they're different. You know, like my husband and I ride motorcycles, and so they can be very different um, things. Something like that, suddenly you take up something, or with your in your relationships, you know, or again, on the internet, all right? These are relationships, making money, opportunities, co you know, counseling, communication, relationships, co-relationships. And let's take a look at what's happening here. And here we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Ooh, Libra, <laughs> what's going on? What's going on? Now, she's not very happy in reverse. In fact, she's pretty pissed off. Here's a woman that's this, this very scorned woman. And she has not put her sword down. She's waiting. She's waiting for the opportunity to come out with it. Let's see what else is going on for our Libra here. And you know what? <laughs> Page of Wands. We've got this woman who's not very happy. It's like off with your head. And you're just like, what? What's the matter, dude? <laughs> you know? Here we've got here we've got our our wands here. And he is just, you know what? He's kind of cocky. He's kind of like, bring it. And he's not budging. And you're not going to really rattle his cage because he's too young. He doesn't even know what's at risk. But I would keep an eye on that energy behind the scenes right now. Okay, Libra. 
And if it's you that's holding on to things or really having a difficult time, you know, it's something you want to work on as we move into this new energy. Do you want to take that with you? Because it's just going to hold you back. Or are you going to let it go moving into the new year? Just say, you know what? I forgive. I forget. I let go. I take responsibility. They can take responsibility. And it just didn't work out the way I wanted it to. And it, you know what? We may have to agree to disagree and respect one another and go our separate ways. You know, that's kind of Libra is always either in and out of relationships. So that's kind of one of those things. All right, Scorpio, Aquarius in the fourth house. All right, here we have home life. We have the potential of moving right now, um, Scorpio, building a home business, making your life at home. Again, this could be even doing some type of readings or psychic readings. Um, this could be really, you know, building a new life at home or wanting to leave that more constructed home and go do a lot, a lot of new and exciting things. You know what I mean? It's like you're just tired of the same old, same old, same old, and you just need to get out. You need to get out and do adventures and like just, you know, get into real historical things and researching and learning and all those good things. But also, you know, if you feel like you want to stay home, you bring those adventures to you. And you can do that through the internet, okay? So it's just some options there. And my dears, we have Knight of Cups. And it's like, put on your Sunday best. You put on your top hat, man. You know what I mean? Let's go. You're going to town, Scorpio. Notice you're by yourself. Doesn't mean you're going to be by yourself because you might have a lot of people around you. But at the end of the day, Scorpio, this is really about you being you. And what are you bringing to the table? I really feel like, Scorpio, you have something that it's time for you to bring out onto the internet, a skill, a mastery, and not to be embarrassed about it because you're awesome. And, and just, to, just to trust. Everybody else, we're all crazy. We all make fools out of ourselves. I know that's hard for you guys. <laughs> but join the club and have some fun. Okay, Scorpio? All right, Sagittarius. Aquarius will be in your third house. This could be new friends. This could be you looking across and saying, oh my gosh, I really would love to be a part of that energy over there. It looks so exciting. Maybe the energy you're in and the friends you have, it's just kind of old and you're just tired of it and it's, eh, it's just not doing it for you. So there's a new energy coming, Sagittarius, and in, in terms of the internet as well, new friends, unusual people, you're wanting to get out of the box. Ew, and you want it all. Here's the Ten of Cups. You know what, Sagittarius, you want it all now. You're ready. You know, you're such a sign that it's always off on adventures and you're always off going here and going there. And, you know, you always kind of feel like at any time if you say, you know, snap your fingers, you can get what you want. So you're not in a hurry. You can kind of play one foot in, one foot out. But that can also come back to you in not such a good way because you can miss opportunities. Or you can be so aloof or so held back that people just feel like you're too standoffish. And you're wanting them to really keep at it. You're wanting them to know you're there. You're wanting to know they're there. Right? And one more card, Sag, Nine of Swords. So you know what? You're, you're really in a lot of deep thought. <sighs> Sagis, as, as happy and joyful as you are, this Aquarius, Aquarian energy is going to really open your eyes to the people around you. And you're really watching others. But you are the leader, so you really need to start your own club. You might be looking around at others and thinking, you know, theirs looks good. But it might not necessarily be for you, but you're getting ideas to have your own. So there's stuff going on around you, Sag. Okay, Cappies, second house. This is unusual and rebellious ways to make money. Okay, so this is a lot of different things that you can do in your second house to make money, Capricorn. You've been through it all. You've been through a lot. And, you know, with all of this energy in, Cap in Capricorn, Pluto, Saturn, right? Jupiter's all been there this last year. Talk about the stress and anxiety of tearing down structures and rebuilding. And now, here comes the sun. Here you can see, for the first time, light at the end of the tunnel, a new life ahead of you. And it's on the internet. You know, here we go again. Aquarius rules the internet, rules the airwaves. It's, it's inventive. It's something unusual. So if you want to make money, Capricorn, think out of the box. And you guys are good at brainstorming. So think out of the box. 
All right, let's get a little, see what we got going for you guys. All right, here we got another Seven of Pentacles. I love this card. Because just standing there like, hey, I'm just picking all my opportunities. They're ripe for the picking. They're ripe for the picking. You've been just building and building. You've even got a basket. And you're just like, you know what? Totally confident. Standing straight on, ready to pick. So you guys got it going on. You got a great year ahead of you, Capricorn. I really believe it. Okay, Aquarius, this is your first house. So this is changing your appearance, changing your presentation, changing your, you know, persona, changing your clothes, changing your outlook. Kind of like me doing my color hair and doing some different things. I know it's like totally weird and totally out of the box. And afterward, I'm like, I feel so stupid that I'm like, that's just so not me. And then this other part of me is like, that's the whole point is that I energetically want to step into this new energy in Aquarius. Okay, so let's pull your card, Aquarius. And we have the two of swords in reverse. Okay. So you know what? You're kind of just not sure what's going on yet. It's like this energy is almost blinding. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Of so many options. But really, you know, this blindfold, I believe, as we get stronger into this energy is going to be really clear for you. What are you feeling drawn to? What look, what personality, what persona do you see yourself in? It might have already, might have been thinking about it for quite a while now. Maybe you need to go get your hair cut, get your hair colored, get some new clothes. Even though we're in this pandemic, we have to still get up and show up and feel good. Okay. All right, Aquarius. And here we have the world in reverse and give you another card here. The world in reverse. You've got the whole world in your hands. It's just waiting for you. You haven't, you can't see everything, but here's that light at the end of the tunnel. It's just that it's kind of far right now. And it's underground and nobody can see it, but just those raindrops of hope <laughs> coming your way. Okay, Pisces, this is your 12th house, Pisces. This is the house that can rule also mental health, homelessness. So there may be a real humanitarian effort or desire to talk about mental health or help homeless efforts. Um, it's also hidden, hidden things in your life and emotional things and, you know, areas in your life that, you know, behind the scenes that you don't talk about. Maybe you're going to start talking about sharing with others. Again, maybe a small group. Um, this is a, this is a very specific type of work that Aquarius is wanting to do here. It's wanting to open your mind. So maybe you've been stuck like I've struggled with writing, actually the discipline of writing the last couple, two and a half years because of where the energy was in my chart. And I knew that. So I was doing all these other projects in preparation to when I, when everything kicked in and all of a sudden everything's kicking in where my desire to consistently get a little something down on paper is starting to flow again. I need that for my consistency in life. When you do, when I don't have that, I get kind of lost in the wind you know and and like with pisces it's being lost tossed and turned by the waves of the sea and with aquarius here it's kind of a warm wind a warm breeze coming through and um, it's a way to really prepare for what's coming so pisces you know this is a very comfortable energy for you so allow yourself allow the light to come into the dark places okay <laughs> And we have the devil in reverse. So here's addictions. Here's hidden. Here's lies. Here's secrets. Here's all that stuff that we all fall into. Right? It's just the devil. He has a way of one, even just distorting or giving us fear or making us just feel like we can't do it. Repetitive negative thoughts towards ourselves. Okay? We're not going to end with him. Let's see what else we got for a Pisces. So it's okay. We're looking at this darker stuff, but when you do that is when you can find freedom. And here we go with the Three of Cups in reverse, okay? So the Three of Cups, again, this is an area in your life you're trying to communicate in. You're trying to work out situations. With it being reversed, there's things that you're working out. Maybe you're not sharing with other people. Maybe this is just between you and your, and your partner or your friend. Maybe only you know. <laughs> Maybe others know. Maybe you don't think they know, but maybe they do know. <laughs> I got to do one more card. Come on. <laughs> okay, we've got four of cups. Pisces. 
Pisces, stop. <laughs> stop this. Stop this. This is the fourth cup. Somebody's, somebody's trying to give you a message. And uh, you're not very receiving right now. And so if you're dealing with the Pisces right now, you know, you're just not going to push it. All right, you guys. I am, I, I guess I'm doing one more. Six of Swords. Keep going. You've got a plan. Keep focused. You've got protection. You've got something under you to keep you from the cold water. You're on a boat. <laughs> All right, you've got this. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for this opportunity to share with you. Again, this is regarding our Jupiter and Saturn conjunction at zero degrees as we speak coming in together on December 21st, Christmas 2020. We're entering into what I believe to be one of the most amazing times for those of us who want to awaken. Whatever that means to you, becoming aware, wanting life, wanting joy, wanting happiness, wanting good relationships, wanting to love one another and support one another and give to one another, help one another, and just be cool and quit all this other crazy stuff. We're ready for just that kind of life. And... um that's where we're headed. So if you guys are interested in a reading or any of my other services, I have some specials. You can email me um, and I will set you up with a private consultation specifically designed for you. All right, you guys, thank you and have a wonderful Christmas and New Year and we'll see you in 2021.